For Christians around the world, it is becoming increasingly difficult to practice and live out their faith. In many places, our brothers and sisters suffer for their love of Christ. The mission of Aid to the Church in Need is to build a bridge of love that enables the suffering and persecuted church to witness their faith and inspire those who help them. Everything began on Christmas Day, 1947, when a 34 years old Dutch priest, Father Varenfried von Straten, moved by the material and spiritual poverty of 14 million Germans displaced after the war, called on Catholics in Belgium and Holland to help. The plea of this beggar of God released a flood of generosity, proving reconciliation between former enemies was possible. The success of this appeal later enabled him to turn to the needs of Christians suffering severe persecution behind the Iron Curtain. Today, Aid to the Church in Need, or ACN, is a pontifical foundation with an ever-growing international scope, 23 national offices around the world, supporting more than 5,000 project requests annually in over 145 countries. Through these projects, ACN supports the Church in her service of prayer and action to hundreds of millions of people, providing not only a timely response to urgent needs, but also a sign of solidarity with our suffering brothers and sisters in Christ. Nowadays, a huge amount of this help is needed in the Middle East, where the Christian presence is facing an existential threat. The persecution initiated by fundamentalist groups has provoked an unprecedented exodus. ACN is committed to helping these displaced Christians by providing concrete answers to the strong hope and faith that they keep in the middle of this devastating situation. There and throughout the whole world, ACN helps the construction and reconstruction of church buildings, houses of God worthy of the sacramental life, and where Catholic communities gather to worship, pray, and be strengthened in faith. In fulfilling this work, an essential part of ACN's mission is to inform about this hidden suffering of Catholics in the world. ACN produces and distributes internationally two comprehensive publications, the Religious Freedom in the World Report, an analysis addressing the threat to religious liberty in 196 countries, and the Persecuted and Forgotten Report, an assessment and classification of those countries where Christians are persecuted and oppressed for their faith. In the face of this world, weighed down by unspeakable suffering, one of the most important needs is prayer. ACN supports contemplative sisters, allowing them to open with their prayer for humanity, a powerful wellspring of God's love. Particularly in isolated areas, the active sisters are who take care of those in spiritual or material need. ACN supports more than 12,000 religious sisters each year, helping them fulfill their vocation. ACN also contributes to those priests who keep the faith alive in their communities, but yet live in poverty. Annually, 43,000 of them receive mass stipends from ACN's benefactors who request Eucharistic celebrations for their intentions. These testimonies inspire courageous young men to offer their lives to serve the church. But in poor areas, answering this call is a difficult journey. To alleviate this need, every year ACN supports the formation of approximately 13,000 of these future priests worldwide. Where the faithful cannot go to the church, ACN helps the church go to the faithful by providing the necessary transportation for priests, religious sisters, and catechists to minister in the most remote areas. To help teach the gospel, ACN supports the translation, printing, and distribution of more than 51 million copies of the child's Bible in 190 different languages. For many, this colorfully illustrated catechism is the only book they will ever possess.
Aid requests come not only for books, but for Catholic radio and television stations, as well as for the training of qualified staff who are supported by ACN to help spread the gospel in the media. The cross, the sign of God's promise, has guided the pastoral work of aid to the church in need. The vertical beam unites us to God's love and the horizontal beam in extending this love to our brothers and sisters. It is the cross that has also inspired ACN benefactors to help those who are unable to carry their crosses alone. They are being tested in faith. We are being tested in love.